If your USB flash drive has suddenly stopped working, then stay tuned because I'm about to help you out. Nico knows tech. All your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico knows tech. Number one channel with the news on tech. So one of the most common problems you'll encounter when it comes to computers is you'll plug in the USB drive into your computer and then... Now there's usually one of two things that have occurred here. Either the problem is physical or purely digital. So if the method I'm about to teach you doesn't work, there's a strong chance that your drive is physically damaged and cannot be recovered. Anyway, let's get to it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to plug in your USB flash drive into your computer. Then we're going to need to open up an elevated command prompt or the command prompt as administrator. There's several ways to do this depending on which version of Windows you have. If you have the search bar down here, you can go ahead and click search then CMD and then you'll be able to go over here to run as administrator. Alternatively, Windows 11 you may have an extra click, but you can also hit the Windows key on your keyboard then hit R then you can type CMD and then a shortcut to run it as administrator, you hold left control, left shift, and then hit enter. Either way works. You just want to run an elevated command prompt. We're only gonna need one right here. Before we dive in, huge shout out to Aura for sponsoring this video. A few months ago, some hackers tried to dox me, but fortunately, I already had Aura who sponsored this video. Aura is the all-in-one cybersecurity service that allows you to quickly and easily remove your information from online data brokers. Private information such as your address, phone number, relatives, and more are all for sale by online data brokers. Aura enables you to opt out of all these rackets with the click of a button. Aura also includes a strong antivirus, VPN, credit monitoring, and a million dollars of identity theft insurance. Use the link aura.com forward slash Nico to get a two week free trial today. And what we're gonna do is we're going to type disk part, P-A-R-T, all one word. And we're gonna hit enter. And this is going to open the command line disk partitioning tool. This is going to allow us to essentially reset the USB flash drive back to default settings. Now a word of warning, if you follow this method and you have data stored on the USB drive that you need recovered, this will wipe all of the data off the drive and restore it back to factory settings. If you have to recover data from the drive and it's absolutely critical, you will need to consult a professional to recover that data. Now the first command that we're gonna need to type into disk part is list disk. And then it's going to list all of the storage drives that we have connected to our computer. This will include your system drive and any other storage devices on the computer. We're only looking for the USB flash drive that you just plugged in. In my case, I plugged in a Kingston 16 gigabyte USB flash drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and look here. I have disk three down here at the bottom and it says it's 14 gigs. So this could be my drive. So I'm going to select that disk by typing select disk three, then hit enter. Now to make sure that this is the drive that I want to set back to factory settings and not a drive that I don't want wiped, such as a external USB hard drive or God forbid your system drive, we're going to type detail disk. This is gonna tell us all about this drive so we can make sure it's the one we want. It says that it's a Kingston Data Traveler 3.0 USB device. That's the one that I'm looking for, so I've selected the correct one. If this says something other than what your USB device is, then you need to select a different disk and then detail disk again before continuing. Very important. Now, if the drive you're trying to select is not even listed here, well, then that could be an indicator that your drive is physically damaged and cannot be recovered using this method. So since I've selected the correct disk, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe all the partitions that are corrupted on this USB flash drive. Whatever's going wrong, we're gonna wipe it. I'm gonna type clean and then hit enter. It has succeeded. Now we need to create new partition for this flash drive so that we can use it. So we're gonna type create partition primary and then hit enter. Last thing we need to do is we need to create a new format. So we're going to format space fs for file system equal sign and then we'll type the file system that corresponds to this drive and since this is a small drive i would type fat32 but if you have a larger drive than 16 gigabytes you may choose exfat or ntfs now the easiest way to tell if you which one to choose is if it's going to be used on windows you can use ntfs or exfat but if it's gonna be used on an Apple computer, you wanna use EXFAT. You can't actually pick a wrong one. If the drive is not compatible with that format, you will get an error here and be able to try again. 
So for me, I'm gonna choose FAT32, then I'm gonna hit space, and then type quick. If you don't type quick here, it'll do a low level format and it may take 30 minutes to an hour to complete. We don't need to do that, so we're just going to type enter after quick, and then it's done. Immediately, my computer has signaled that it's detected a new drive and my antivirus is asking to scan it. So it's now detecting the drive. Now that we're done, we can actually close this window. And now if I open up File Explorer and I navigate to the drives, I can see it here, it's detected. It says it's a Kingston, it's on F, and it's a 14 gigabyte drive. And like I said, it's completely wiped. I can open it, I can access it, I can create a folder in it. Everything seems to be functioning fine. And that's that. That's how you restore a USB flash drive back to default settings so that you can use it again. If it worked out for you, please tell me in the comments. I'd really like to know. And if it didn't work out for you and you suspect your drive is physically damaged, also tell me in the comments. I might be able to advise you. And if you guys would like me to make videos about how to recover data from a corrupted USB drive, let me know and I'll make a video about that too. Hope you like this video. If you like it, please smash that like button and subscribe for more and I will see you next time.